Hello everybody, I am an Angry Mushroom, and today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to be playing through, um, Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope. And, like with, um, like with Hollow Knight, I've already done this as well. But, I thought it'd be, I wanted to go through the, um, the New Game Plus mode. And, but I wanted to do it on, um, on camera, or on video. So, I thought, uh... I thought it'd be fun to just go through the main game and then from the main profile go through the new game plus mode. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's put it to random. Right. Why put random? Uh, Oh, I can't put random. Oh well. But, uh, this game's, like, real fun. It's, um, the game's modeled after old-school NES platformers. And it's really easy to see where it gets, the game gets its inspiration from. And, like, it's a really short game, too. It's only, like, eight-ish hours long, but it's... It's like a lot of um, a lot of meat to it, if that makes sense. You can see the story going on here. I'm probably going to be doing like one each level is one episode, which adds up to like all different ones, I think. Oh, whoops! I don't want to skip that. The character design is also pretty fun. You can see all the um, different, most of the characters right here. I haven't played this game in a while either, like a good three months, so I'm pretty rusty at it. Maybe I think we're about to get into it. Let's get shoveling. Sorry, I'm not talking. I should be talking. But, um, this first level is really easy. I should be able to get through it with, uh, no real hassle. Eee, gem. Beetle. These, um, these beetles look like the, uh, I forget what they're called, like, cockneal beetles? Like, the, the enemies from Terraria. The, the ones that give you, like, red husks and stuff. There we go. Uh, this, um, I know that Shovel Knight came out before, um, before Hollow Knight, but this, um, this attack reminds me of the, um, the down pogo a lot. Ooh, I double swatted that guy. I think I chose the, um, the female Shovel Knight. Whoop. Uh, here's a fun fact. You can actually, um, let me see. You can break these, I think. I don't know if you can break this one. I don't know which ones are breakable. Come on, let me break it. Eh, won't let me break it. The, um, ladders are always weird. Because you can't just jump off of them, you have to, like, sidestep. What? Off screen. Um, watch the video on the development of- oh. I watched a video on the development of this game, and apparently, for the most part, the this game uses only colors that the actual NES could produce, which I think is pretty cool. And um, I believe the sound design is also mostly like styled after the NES. Skeleton. Wow. And the uh, oh, what was it? The, um, the level style is very reminiscent of Mega Man. I've actually played a couple of the old school any Mega Mans, like, of past series. And, um, they do feel a lot like it. Oh, I always forget about these slimes. Wah. Oh, no. 
I thought I was getting the jump on that one. No. Bunk. But, um... It's, it feels like an NES game, but with, like, the modern... I wanna... I don't wanna... Let me think. The modern... Control, like, control style? Like, the ability... The, um... Responsiveness. Like, the controls are really responsive. Where, um... Old school NES games. I keep saying old school, just NES games. Where NES games have like, like uh, quite a bit of delay to some of the controls most of the time. But this one feels real responsive, and this game also doesn't like suffer the problem that old that NES games had, where the difficulty would be in trying to defeat like a ton of enemies at once. Like there's actual like tricky platforming. It isn't just, oh, we're gonna hit you with a bunch of enemies. Gotta dodge this one. Ooh, I'm close, fine. Yeah. There you go. Bubble. There's, um, there's a really neat ability you can get later on in the game, where if you could, um, jump off of stuff several times in a row, you get to do a big ol' swipe. And that's like a really fun ability to do. See, like, this here's a really interesting platforming section. With the bubbles. Boing. I uh, saw a video once where, um, this person, I don't know who they were, but they managed to get the, um, get this game to work on, like, actual NES hardware, and it was super cool. Oh, you're not gonna get the... Me. Oop. This one, ah, uh, this one got me. Ooh, carrot. And there's... And then the, the, this one's also fun, because it has, like, you want to be constantly searching around the, um, the map, like, you're not just trying to get through it to get to the end. There's hidden stuff to be found. Which I always like to see in any game, where you're not just trying to get through, you're, you're actively searching around the map to get stuff. Oh, I didn't see this. I think it was. No. Oh, I missed that little gem. Just a green one, though, so it's fine. Oh, look. Boop, 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 boop. I think that's funny that the crouch just, like, barely does anything. Ow. This one's trickier to do. Since, um, there's the gigantic pit. But, there we go. Oh, there goes the apple. We already, we already have, like, a good amount of gold. Ah, he, he fell in the pit. Oh, I died. Whoops. I hesitated. This also has, like, I don't like Hollow Knight, really, but it also has a thing where you, um, if you die, you have to, you get punished for it by, um, losing a little bit of your money. Uh, I think I, I don't know if I'm remembering this from, but I'm pretty sure the, um, Yacht Club Games, the developers of this game, originally, um, like, experimented with, a with, uh, a live system, but they found that it was, like, too restrictive and, like, too, almost did it again. Too old game design. Like, lives kind of artificially make a game harder, as opposed to, like, adding extra, extra challenges. It just means, like, you waste more time going through all the beginnings of a level just to get, have a chance at going back to where you were and, um, completing the game. You know, like, uh, like in the original Mario NES, the, the main challenge was, like, not making so many mistakes that you have to repeat the entire thing over again. And, um, this game doesn't do that. This game has checkpoints that are optional, kind of, where some of them are breakable, and you get money if you unbreak them. So you get to decide, like, how hard you want the game to be. 
which I think is very nice uh, game design because it puts the um the choice in the player's hands. Oh, and we're about to head up to the first boss. I didn't realize how short these levels were. I might do um part of the next level as well. Sorry, I'm skipping through um dialogue. I also find the order of no quarter to be a funny name. Still by shovel. The Black Knight's cool. I like the Black Knight. He's a fun he has a fun design. Smack. Oh, that attack always gets me. And like it's a good um introduction to how um to the style where um the style of level where you go through several uh platform rooms or challenge rooms where and you fight a uh, boss at the end of it like in um Mega Man. Oh. Yeah. I know you can um you can actually hit back that the um the fireball, but it's tricky. Because, um, you have to be prepared for it. Oh, oh I'm gonna win. Wait. Oh, missed. Come on. There we go, I got him. Money! There we go. I think I'll do the, um, I'll do King's Knight. King Knight's, uh, level next, because I like fighting King Knight a little. No, I don't like fighting King Knight. King Knight is just easier than the other option. Oh, the Shuffle Knight. Just laying down. Relaxing. Oh, I forgot about this section. Where... I don't know if it's, um... What happens... Oh. <laughs> there... Shield Knights also. I think I when I put the gender swap mode, it swapped all the things. I thought it originally swapped just um, Shovel Knight. But it swapped all the genders. Or the body swap mode, not the gender swap mode. There's a, there's a little difference in them. Minor variation. Uh, this is the village. This is like a little... Like central hub. Like This is where you can buy quite a few of the items and um, the power-ups. I don't know who would look at a shovel that clearly has like a handle and everything and say, oh look, look at that tool. It's not a shovel. It's not a weapon. It's a shovel. Anything can be a weapon if you try hard enough. Um, those um, notes that we got earlier, they're actually used for this. We um, hand them to this bard here and he uh, gives us money in turn. We can, um, up here we can trade, uh, meal orders for, or trade, okay, let me, we can buy meal tickets from him, and we can trade them um, to this guy for a meal, which increases our max health. And these are like the first items I got, since I like having the ability to get hit a bunch. Can I have my meal? Hello? There we go. How much is the next one? Uh, we can buy the next one. Wait, let me see. What are our other options? Oh, we need relics first. Relics are like the items in this game. Like, beyond our um, normal shovel, we can get more of those. Uh, I think this guy sells us some stuff. Uh, let's see. Chaos Sphere and the Fishing Rod. Let's wait for now. No items yet. Wait, wait, wait. There's something right here. Ooh, cool, another note. 
forget that they're hidden, like, practically everywhere. Th this is like a little mini-game. Uh, here. We pay a hundred, and then, um, we have to try to hit these bottles onto these. It's a little tricky. It's pretty fun. Forget if there's any reward to it other than, like, maybe getting our money back. Oof. I have to try to hit the, um, top ones. Those put get us the most points. Oh, missed. Oh, I missed, like, practically everything with that one when I hit that shrapnel thing. Oh no, I'm doing bad. Am I hitting anything? There we go. Oh, ah, I missed that one again. I'm really bad at this minigame. I didn't hit anything. Wow, there was like four there and I missed all of them. How many points did I get? 119? Is that good? I forget. I think we got our money. Yeah, we got our money back. I think that's like a way to farm for money without having to go and play all the courses over and over again. I can imagine that if you're good at it, it, you can like rack up money really quickly. This is by the next meal ticket. That we can be, uh... That we can take some hits. Oop. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, I don't know if I should be talking to the NPCs. I am the Shovel Knight. Oh, you, you can, um... Wait, there. You can climb on top of there, and then there's a thing up here. Forget if these ones do anything. Beware of a witch calling himself a super This is, um, amiibo support stuff. I don't have it in Shovel Knight amiibos. I do think it's really cool that this game, which is an indie game, but, uh, that it got, a uh, that it got amiibo support. Anyway, this is the, um, the King Knights, uh, level. I really like the music in this level, it's so good. This game, in general, has some pretty good sound design. And music. Ah, yeah. He ran himself into a wall. And these are neat too. The, um, these lava traps. This area has really cool, um, platforming gimmicks. And, uh, oh, what is it? I always like castle levels in, um, in, uh, in games. Like, I haven't, um, gone to it in, uh, Hollow Knight yet, but there's a really cool, like, castle area in that game. And, uh, in Ender Lilies 2, there's, like, two castle sections. And, then, of course, there's Mario, which has, like, castle section every other section, but I've always liked them. Like, uh, like medieval designs in general. Which is probably why I like so many of the, um, the Order of No Quarter designs. Since, like, they're all vaguely knight-like. Knight-adjacent, at least. Boy. Forget if, um, where all the secrets are in this level. Pretty sure some of them are a little tricky to get. Wait, can I toss- Yeah, <laughs> you can toss the head off that guy. You hear- that's a fun sound effect. Ooh. And then this one's an actual enemy. I forget what they're called. These ones are pretty tricky. Since, um, they have, like, a smarter AI than the other ones. They're kind of like the, uh, the Moss Knights from... from Hollow Knight. Where, um, they have a few different attacks that they can do. Instead of just, like, swing and a miss. Ooh, be careful of the chandeliers. These are fun because these are um 
You can hop on top of them. I obviously can't reach these ones. But later you have to like... Are you kidding? Alright. Thought I um, hit that. Oh, that's annoying. Oh. <laughs> Look at me getting hit by everything. But anyways, there's um parts later where you get to climb on top of them. Oh, I think that was supposed to be a section where I could climb on top of one. Uh, let me see if they respawn. I'd like to get the money up there. Ooh. Yeah, these respawn. Look, because you can climb on top of them. They still fall, but, uh... Fun to climb on top of them. This, this section's really tricky. I remember it took me, like, several tries to get this part. Not that part. Uh, this up here. There we go. Little shovel knight shaped hole. This part, I think. You have to be really quick, otherwise you won't. Um... Oh, it's this guy. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. This guy's... Oh, this is one of... Here's, here's a relic. This is one of the relics. Like, the extra... Items, you can see um, under item in our like little status bar at the top of the screen, we have a, a little mana meter. Kind of like the soul from like Hollow Knight or... Oh, it's a mana meter, it's a mana meter, that's what it is. This is what actually got me. It's the, the um, getting back without dying. Yeah, like that. I'm just going to leave that money. It's not worth it. It's just going to take a while to grab. But, this is one of the more fun- not like fun, but this is like a, a really reliable weapon. Since it's just a projectile. Big ol' ladder. These ones are kind of hard too. One thing that I like is that the um... The relics that you can get in these levels are usually have something to do with the level itself. Like this, this is a fire wand, and there's fire wand enemies right here. Wait, am I supposed to be going? Which way am I supposed to be going so I can go the other way? Let me check. Okay, I'm supposed to be going that way, so let's go this way. There's probably more goodies this way. What's up here? Okay. Uh, let's see. How can I get down there with a... Oh, whoops. Oh, I messed up. Did those respawn? Oh, crud, I messed up. Okay, I can still climb up here. Wow. Be careful, because um, the way you activate the down shovel is by pressing down while in midair. And I was pressing down when I fell off the ladder, which made me go into the uh, shovel jump mode automatically. Oof. Thought I was going to get hit by that. Money! And a uh, note card. Oh no, it's just more money. There's money behind the money. That all the yeah, this up here is just um, just a way to get money. What's this way? Okay, let's not do that. That's one of the harder enemies in the game. The um, oh whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, this is what I meant earlier, but when I said that you can break the um, break the checkpoints. Oh, I better not die now. That'd be really bad. Now excuse me while I play badly. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, good. I think these drop- yeah. Every, um, most of the levels haven't- really? Oh, okay. Looks like that one was okay to destroy then. That would've really stunk, though. But, um, as I was saying, most levels have like a little mini-boss. Like, uh, that. Oh, that was cool! I just jumped off like five different things in a row. 
beetle. I like the beetle enemies, they're cute. Oh, I forgot. Whoop. Aha, you can't get me. But I can get you. I forget- Oh, I forgot about that. These ones- Some of the enemies respawn if you go off screen. That is something that they kept from, um... From... Old NES style games. Where, if you go off screen, the enemies will respawn. Okay, that's a wall. This, however, is a diggable area. I think there's another note down here. No, it's just more money. But hey, who can't use more money? Especially when everything... Is... The, the items in this game are pretty expensive. How do I get back up? Okay, it's just like that. Whee! Okay, okay, good. These rats are kind of an these rats aren't like hard, they're just kind of a nuisance. Money. Not the Lamisa. Okay. There we go. Ah. Oh that's me they um said at the same time. I can't get back up. Oh well. I'll leave that. Can't wait to get the um You can cancel out of this uh jump the jump mode by just hitting swinging your shovel again. Come on. There we go. Bunch of money. But how old are they saying? I forgot what I was saying. Who was it? Oh, wait, we're about to do one of my um favorite like platforming things in the game. Oh no! Oh man! See what I said about the rats? Oh, I I've never seen that. I didn't know um. It has a little picture to show you which, um, to show you which, what are they called? Which checkpoints you haven't, uh, you broke. Oh, get out of your rat. Thinking rats. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I like taking these things. I don't think I can move them into the next room. But here, these um, these books activate temporary platforms. They have to hurry up and uh, we get to the next one to do. And you can um do that. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. I can't wait to unlock the um, the ability that lets me do a big old swing if I um, uh, pull off several things at once. Not at once, in succession. I think there's a bomb in this. No, it's just a carrot. Some of the, um... Some of the platters have bombs in them. Oh, we can't get hit right Oh. We can't get hit right here. Yeah, no. Okay, you can do that, though. There we go. Are we gonna hit the... I think we're about to hit the boss. Yeah, here he is. King Knight. I like King Knight. He's funny. He's like the Zode of this game. Kinda. I like how the um the text also has each character have like a different like different voice, sort of. King Knight should be pretty easy. I remember not having to that much of an issue with him. Oy. Okay, never mind, I'm gonna die. Actually. I think it's because you can cheese not cheese necessarily, but a lot of the bosses um are really susceptible to getting hit by the Oh never mind, this is why I was able to get him. I just jump off of him.
That's why he was so easy. It's just easy to repeatedly hit him so many times while he's doing that. You know, the confetti animation. Bosses that um do that where they have a big ol' attack. Or not like like they have big ol' animations before they start attacking you again. Like those are always like pretty easy since you can always assuming you can um just hit them a bunch, then uh then it's like they're pretty much easy. I don't know if that made any sense. Bosses that have big attacks that you can um, punish them for not moving are easy. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> also, like that you get um, invincibility frames when you're opening chests and stuff. That's a nice feature. Like here, I would have gotten the um, the big ol' slash for jumping off all those. Let's uh, let's turn in our stuff and buy a few items, and then we can um, then the video is probably gonna be done before. Get money. I don't think I'll buy more more health just yet. Um, let's see. Hey, no, I, I don't want to buy a milk ticket. Can I buy oh more mana? Yeah, I can buy more mana. Let's buy two of these. More mana is really helpful because then you can um you can use it for stuff like that, like just spamming it at bosses. Uh, these guys are fun. I forget do these ones do anything. I think this one does like a little dance animation that I don't really want to see. Through. But I think that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a good day. See you in the next one. Bye.